watching Michelle Choi's old vlogs. Before I leave, I quickly wanted to show you guys my outfit. As soon as I put on this turtleneck, it reminded me of a rock meme. This is the one I'm talking about. He's wearing silver chain. I don't have a silver chain, but I do have a black belt. Right now, I'm heading over for two apartment viewings. There's an open house from 1.30 to 2. Ow. 1.30 to 2. And then another appointment is at 3. My morning kind of went just coordinating with the brokers. It's a lot back and forth and you're looking at so many apartments. It gets so confusing. I had to cancel one of my appointments today because I accidentally double booked it. So I only have two now instead of three. I still haven't decided about the apartment that I saw yesterday. Hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Tisha. I moved to New York City beginning of 2023 and I'm back to apartment hunting again. When I first moved moved here, I wasn't planning to get on this struggle bus this soon, but things happen. I haven't done any Christmassy activity for this year at all. I'm so happy that I got to pass through this area when it's not super crowded, but I am, as usual, running late for my appointment. I am speed walking right now. I'm hoping with this one year experience, I will not get screwed over this time around. I will be doing a proper apartment hunting video, but in the meantime, I wanted to bring you real time with me while I try to find a new home. I texted the broker that I'm running late, didn't hear back. Open house is from 1.30 to 2. I'll get there exactly at 2. This one is a one bedroom apartment. I think it has laundry as well. I do really want to see this apartment. This one is within my price range. It is around 2300 I think. There is broker fee, but the lady who was showing me the unit today, she didn't know about the broker fee because she's not the broker. I guess she was just showing the unit on the broker's behalf. Heat and water is included in the rent. Everything else is on the tenant. There is $20 application fee, which is standard. When I saw the listing, I thought it was a true one bedroom apartment, but that's not the case. So I'm not really a big fan of the layout. As soon as you enter, that's where the alcove is or the den area. If I had to envision how I would be decorating this apartment, the smaller side or the den area would have been my bedroom. And I don't want my bedroom to be right next to the entrance. The bathroom was a decent size. The living room area, very good space. Nice windows. There was a small corner where I could put my office desk as well. It's on the sixth floor. No elevator, so it is a walk up. There is washer dryer. It's shared between two buildings, but still it's there. I've never seen any apartments with laundry like that. I would definitely not go in the evenings for sure. <laughs> Didn't feel safe. <laughs> If I had to do laundry, I would do it during the daytime because you have to walk outside the building. Even though it's good space, it's sad facing, it just didn't feel safe. And just the building in general, not well kept. It was dirty. The hallway, the staircases, you know when the building itself is dirty? It's just, it's a huge red flag. There are gaps between the walls and the floors and there were a lot of gaps not just in the living room it was in the closets as well oh hold on how 
much of the decoration here. So pretty. And the apartments on this block is beautiful. Sorry, I'm getting distracted, but... Like, this decoration, so beautiful. And huge windows. And then again, here too. So pretty, with big windows and everything. One day I'll reach a point where I'll be able to afford these apartments. In the meantime, the apartment hunting continues. So the apartment I saw yesterday, that one I still can't take it off my head. Now I'm heading over to my next appointment. It's like 30 minutes walk or so. I'm not a huge fan of the layout, but it does look like it's a good space. So this one has no broker fee. The owner is the one who actually showed me the apartment. Within the rent, water and heat included. The alcove is a little bit bigger than what I had thought it would be. It has a very nice kitchen as well. A lot of cabinets, good counter space. There is like a small dining area as well. Closet is huge. That's the only storage in the apartment, but I think that would be enough for me. Bathroom is decent size as well. It has medicine cabinet. So the owner seems really nice. She owns a couple of buildings around, she mentioned, but that's the only unit she said that's currently in market. She doesn't have anything for January or even for February because I just got like very good energy from her. The apartment, I didn't think I would have liked the apartment, but I do actually like it. It's just, it's a bit small for me you can distinguish the bedroom living room because the alcove distinguishes the bedroom from the living room area and the living room and then the kitchen is separated because of the counter even though it's small there's proper distinction of space it is a 30 month lease and it's half month off the building as well as the unit both of it is well maintained and clean there's water leaking from what is it called the radiators but they had like the those trays to catch the water and she said they'll get fixed before the tenant moves in along with that the apartment will get painted as well and cleaned too i just wished the living room area was a little bit bigger the owner was mentioning to me that the previous tenant lived here for three years which is always a good sign so on the bottom of both zillow and street easy you can see when the apartment was listed on the market how many times the prices changed when was it removed from the market when was rented out it does go far back to a couple of years i don't know how far it goes let's say the apartment was rented seven months ago and it's back in market then maybe something's up with the unit there are times where you have to break your lease maybe because of other personal reasons not necessarily because of the unit or the management
the apartment hasn't been listed in the market yet. The broker is actually listing it today. So she didn't have any photos or videos. I had earlier reached out to her for another unit, but that was already off the market. So I found an old listing and in the old listing, it mentions that it has washer dryer in the basement. It was listed three years ago for 1,600 and 60 I believe and now she said it will be listed for 2550 that 1600 definitely was the pandemic price so the apartment is sun drenched the living area bedroom it faces the back is just the apartment it didn't feel the apartment building it didn't feel like it was well maintained I've seen a lot of apartments in this apartment hunting as well as in my previous one and a building can be old but at the same time it can be well maintained as well just because it's old doesn't mean it's supposed to look a bit run down there is one month broker fee heat and water is included which is the standard everything is on the tenant the living room has a closet it has a decorative fireplace which is really pretty kitchen is a good size too it has a full-size fridge which i realized recently that it's a hot commodity not all apartments even at 2500 price point comes with a full fridge bedroom which is actually a den it's a little bit bigger compared to what I thought it would be. It has a closet as well. I didn't like the bedroom layout. The bathroom itself looked dirty, especially the bathtub and then the toilet seat. There's no washer dryer in the building. She said it was a mistake in the old listing and I went to the viewing thinking there's washer and dryer, so big disappointment. And walk-ups up here, the staircases are so steep. I don't think I can do a physical walk-up. My knees would would give up. Imagine carrying grocery all the way up or taking laundry or just doing errands in general. I, I don't think so my body could handle a walk-up, especially my knees at this age, <laughs> which is sad to say I'm just 34 and my knees have started to hurt already. So in between work today, I am heading over to see another appointment. It's around noon right now. It's again a fifth floor walk up. I told myself I'm going to stop looking at a fifth floor walk up. But you know when you have limited options, you gotta do what you gotta do. we do after each viewing we talk about the apartments i had done that but for some reason i can't find the clip when i saw the apartment it was bright and sunny day and today is the exact opposite it is so cold today so i went to see one apartment but the broker ended up showing two the first apartment we saw that time it was not listed in the market yet both the units are rent stabilized for the first apartment even though it was a bright sunny day you can't literally see anything because it doesn't get any sunlight at all since the con edison had to be set up so con edison is the electricity and gas supplier in new york city so whoever moves in they have to set up the con edison since it was not set up the electricity was not there so you could barely see it was actually a very good size one bedroom apartment good closet space as well when i entered the bathroom first time i didn't see it but again when i went the second time to take the video there was a big dead cockroach there area is right here 
No wonder the lobby smells so bad. So the second apartment I saw, so that's the apartment I saw in the listing and I had reached out to the broker for. It is a walk-up, it's on the fifth floor. The layout is different as well as it gets a lot of daylight as well. The building is in a busy street. I didn't hear much traffic in the bedroom, probably because I viewed the apartment during lunchtime. Maybe during evening time is when it'll get very busy because the street the building is on there are a lot of restaurants it has a decorated fireplace it has two closets one in the living room one in the bedroom as well both the bedroom as well as living room gets a lot of daylight the kitchen is spacious as well they didn't have a fridge what the broker told me was that they are planning to install a fridge before the tenant moves in the living room has exposed bricks but for some reason it's painted with very ugly orange color i don't know why they did not retain the original brick itself instead of painting over it the broker fee for this one is 15 percent even though it's in the same building both the units have different broker fee which makes sense because the fifth floor apartment is i guess it's more enticing than the second floor one it is rent stabilized as well i wasn't a big fan of the bathroom layout the closet is on this side bathroom is on this side so when i place the bed obviously i can't place it against the closet i would have to place it against the bathroom wall and i don't want my bed to be like right next to the bathroom i think both the closets have space on the top as well i forgot what is it called um but you know upper i don't know upper closet i guess on the top for extra storage so this one also did not have electricity set up so for the bathroom i had to use my camera flashlight after seeing the previous apartment with the dead cockroach i was like yeah this apartment or this building and any of these two apartments aren't for me for my current apartment building trash and recycle is outside and the building itself is fairly well maintained too but since the trash and recycle is in the building is in the first floor as soon as you walk in the lobby the trash smell hits you and then that smell continues throughout the building itself is a very small one bedroom apartment it is on a busy street but since it's facing the back it was pretty quiet actually kitchen is very small there is a small bedroom more like a den the window in the bedroom faces the back and the living room and the bedroom is separated by a french door the living room itself it's small but i did like those big windows it's facing the back but it did get a good amount of daylight as well it has massive walk-in closet and also in the bedroom itself it comes with a built-in closet as well it's on the older side so when you have to open the door in that built-in closet or pull out the drawer there's a lot of resistance there bedroom itself is really well maintained actually well minus those drip pans in the kitchen which i asked the broker and the broker did say that he can talk to the owner and change that i didn't see any gaps at all i know it's small one bedroom but it's decent size <laughs> probably have to get rid of my couch i think most likely which i don't want to do it i think this one has one of the biggest closet space i've seen from all the apartment viewings from this apartment hunting there's no broker fee so the landlord 
based the broker fee. The building looked all right, but I have a very hard time pinpointing why I don't like the apartment because it is one bedroom. Even though it's small, it does have good closet space. It does not have gaps on the floors. So one of the things I learned from my current apartment is when the exterminator came in, he told me to cock up the gaps between the floor and the wall because that's where the roaches or rodents can come into the apartment so when i was checking that i didn't see any gaps at all actually and even under the sink it's all cocked up it looks fine well the lobby smelled but i just i don't know it's just the energy was off and whenever the energy is off you have to listen to it such a long time where I just sat down and talked to you guys or just did like a regular vlog. I know the current content has been very heavy with apartment hunting and just apartment stuff in general because that's the phase I'm in right now but this channel is not about New York City rentals or apartment hunting. I am just bringing you guys along with me while I try to navigate this whole thing. <laughs> I wanted to talk about a few updates. One is for my current apartment. So my actual end day for my lease is end of February. What the building management had agreed upon is that I can break my lease anytime I want to. I do not need to provide an advance notice. Typically you have to provide like a month advance notice and also if you break your lease security deposit is forfeited they do not return the security deposit back but in my case what they had told me was they'll return my security deposit back for one of the issues which i do think i mentioned it in the previous vlogs or maybe i haven't because i really thought it wouldn't be an issue but turned out to be an issue so as soon as i moved in when i got my first con edison bill for electricity i had reached out to the building management because i got charged for gas delivery as well so typically when you get the bill you have the delivery charges and then actual usage charge so for electricity i got billed for delivery and then usage but for gas i got charged for delivery and there isn't anything in my apartment that utilizes gas heat hot water is already included in my rent already and also my stove is electric it's not gas when i first reached out to con edison they had told me to reach out to the building management they said they can't do anything about it when i reached out to the building management they weren't really sure why i'm getting charged for it so what they had told me was in the meantime for me to pay the bill they would credit that amount as part of my rent Whenever I followed up, they told me they need some time to figure it out. They're not really sure. And also they told me that they reached out to Con Edison and Con Edison is giving them like a runaround. I was trying to be very cooperative in the beginning since I wanted to renew my lease. So I let it be, but I've been following up for past few months. Even when I was in Nepal, I was following up. Whoever I was dealing with in the building management, she just stopped responding to me. What I ended up doing for my December rent is I ended up subtracting whatever they owe me and... I just paid whatever was remaining as part of my rent. As soon as I told them I'm only paying this much amount of the rent since you guys owe me this much on the gas bill, after that only I received a response. Like when they responded to me, they were like, who told you that the gas bill is part of your rent? Well, it's in my lease. Duh. So after that incident, one of my good friends, what she recommended to do was instead of paying for the last month, whenever I decide the last month to be either January or February, not to pay my rent, but let the security deposit be used as my rent. After all this, I felt that they would never give my security deposit back because I was just having a hard time getting them to credit me $350. And the security deposit is the same amount as my rent. So I sent them an email letting them know that I'm ending my lease end of January 131 and then they can use my security deposit as my last month rent I don't know how everything works and I'm too scared that I'll get into trouble I still gave them a one month notice and I received a response right away after that they have let the leasing office know and they'll reach out to me to start viewing the apartment at the same time when I sent out the email I received lease renewal notice from the leasing office as well currently my rent is 2350 and for my lease renewal what they proposed was 2500 which is not a big hike at all. I was expecting that they would be increasing 
the rent by a lot especially they renovated the lobby area floors they painted it they changed the light fixtures the doors so i really really thought that they would increase the rent to like almost 2800 or 3000 when i saw the price i was really shocked because if none of this has happened if the whole saga did not happen i would have definitely stayed here since it's spacious it's 2500 because right now all the options i've seen i'm feeling very 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 discouraged right now with all the options out there my sister was saying maybe it's time to come back to downtown jersey city i have like so many scenarios going through my head right now what if i can't find an apartment i have to put all my stuff in storage and then stay with patricia and jeff for a few days a few weeks and then sleep in her couch you know i i still have a few more weeks but but still i love not i don't love to overthink it's just overthinking is embedded in me i try not to but the way i'm built i can't stop overthinking also update on the apartment apartment number 10 from the last vlog right when i was about to apply i saw a disclaimer where it just mentioned cats are allowed i had called the leasing office and apparently small dogs are allowed but it's case by case basis they only take dogs that are service animals or emotional support but the way the leasing office told me was that to still submit my application and I can always amend my application with emotional support paperwork. I haven't tried it on my own, but from what I've heard, to get emotional support paperwork done for your dog is fairly easy. And a lot of people do that, especially during travel, since it's just easier to travel that way. There's less restriction in a lot of places when a pet is considered is considered as emotional support so the way the person from the leasing office made it seem that it really depends on my application not necessarily on the status of my dog as long as i change the application not change amend the application with the emotional support paperwork she told me like a few times like you can always update that later just submit your application after hearing that i thought I'll think about it and then apply after the holidays. Since it was the holiday season and also winter time is considered as off-peak season for New York City rental market. By the time I checked, the apartment was rented. You know the saying, the one that got away? That's how I feel about this apartment. I just can't stop thinking about it. Every time I go to a viewing, I keep comparing that apartment, like the one I'm viewing with the apartment that I fell in love with. <laughs> and also I do need to prioritize what are my non-negotiables. I can't find something that fits everything, all of my criteria. this apartment it is a one bedroom apartment there is no closet i don't like it at all i did not even ask any questions to the broker i just skimmed through it the building was dirty it did not get any good energy at all from both so i did not even ask any questions i just took a quick video and that was it this one was a disappointment so my camera battery died I only have battery for like less than a minute but I just wanted to catch up real quick so for the holidays I didn't vlog at all for both Christmas or for New Year's Eve both of the holidays were pretty low-key for Christmas we ended up celebrating at Patricia's and Jeff's place in between Christmas and New Year's we went to Poconos we went there with my aunt and uncles cousins from my dad's side of the family they live in Pennsylvania, Virginia, and Florida. One of my cousin's family, I haven't seen them for years. So it was very nice to catch up. And then for New Year's Eve, again, we were back at Patricia's and Jeff's place. Double ended up cooking. I really hope you guys had an amazing holiday celebration and Happy New Year 2024. Happy New Year! New York! <laughs> I really hope this year brings all of us love, 
peace, prosperity, abundance, and fulfillment. Thank you so much for all the love and support. It truly means a lot. Thank you for subscribing, sharing, commenting, liking, and just watching. Your love and support truly helps me to push myself to get out of this headspace of being very critical about myself and put myself out there. I really hope you guys enjoy coming along with me. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and support the channel. If you have an Instagram, my Instagram is Tisha Shrestha and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.